Look, if the NFL wants to kowtow to crybaby Kaepernick with these special workouts, fine. But hey, Cap, if you're still not good enough to offset the giant distraction and liability you've created, give it up gracefully and stop with this whole poor me charade, please. It's time for final thoughts. It's been three years since crybaby Kaepernick's kneeling tantrum ruined or at the very least marred the game of football and sports in general. If you'll recall, he said he started his protest to bring awareness to police brutality and racial oppression. But funny thing is, he only started feeling so woke and oppressed when he was sitting the bench after Blaine Gabbert replaced him as the 49ers starting quarterback. He said his refusal to stand for the national anthem wasn't intended to disrespect our military or veterans, which seems hard to believe since he specifically chose to kneel during the anthem and specifically chose to disrespect the flag, that same flag generations of heroes have come home under. But let's just pretend he didn't do it to offend our military or our veterans. He very much so did it to disrespect and disparage law enforcement officers. Which brings us to last weekend and his 40-minute workout in front of eight NFL team reps. Well, in true Kaepernick fashion, the victimhood narrative continued, first with his fashion choice and then with this interview. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. We all know why I came out here show today in front of everybody. We have nothing to hide. So we're waiting for the 32 owners, the 32 teams, Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. We're ready to go anywhere. My agent, Jeff Nally, is ready to talk to any team. I'll interview with any team at any time. I'm been ready. Maybe he is good enough to return to the league. Maybe not. Maybe he is good enough to be a backup quarterback. Maybe not. But here's the deal. Why would any team want to sign a backup quarterback that is that high maintenance, that distracting, and that polarizing? This workout process has been a circuit in, circus in of itself. No team wants the distraction. It's football, not the social justice Olympics. But Fox Sports analyst Jason Whitlock hit the nail on the head saying, quote, Cap does not and has not wanted to play football since the 49ers benched him. Every act since that moment has been about being a martyr and giving himself an excuse for failure. Yes, that is exactly right. This attention-seeking Kaepernick circus is just about as bad as the attention-seeking circus we have going on in Congress right now. Perhaps if football still doesn't work out for Kaepernick, he can join a different squad and do what he's best at, blaming others for the disappointments and inadequacies he's created for himself. Those are my final thoughts.